welcome planner friends this is jen with jen happy planning thank you for joining me for another video today i will be showing you how i decorate my weekly spreads on my big happy planner from the 18th to the 24th of october and i'm going to be using some clip art and as well as uh, some new goodies i got from the washi tape shop and i will take this opportunity to show you it because I only did the um, uh, the whole video uh, when it's a short haul I tend to go on my stories on IG um, Instagram and do it there that way I can add also um, tag in this case the washi tape shop so um, this is the beautiful um, collection they have they have two sets i think um this is called uh let me see because i have i do have and i just had it next to me and somehow it's gone it's not gone it's here um i believe this is a halloween party yes so i normally swatch them on i just took the covers off um to take with me um on a trip to the supermarket and I need to put it back so is this the it's a set of six so you have the uh, I'm not sure actually I think it's a I'll have to um, when I edit the video I'm going to put the information of how big uh, how big these are I think this might be half a millimeter half a centimeter so 0.5 and I'm not sure about this one so these are the colors and these are the other three which are the big ones so they are very beautiful this is a much darker pink than this one in the background which i love uh, so i might do i'll see I'll see because I'm going to show you the uh, clip art I have uh, chosen. Um, I got it some time ago. It's on my um, the cover of my um, what would I call it again? Franken planner. So I'm going to be use this bow here as well as I I did cut I did quite a lot of cutting. So we have spider webs, we have some leaves, we have this cute bat. Look at that beautiful baby bat. Well, I call it baby bat, but it's not a baby bat. We have some bunting there. And we have some balloons. And we have some spiders and some try to put a few that's the other balloon what else do we have i don't think we have a ghost we have different ghosts and the cat i didn't do the cat on its own but it's in a scene so we have these little guys here which are really really cute so we have those and i'm just going to drop everything here because i know that at some point it's going to fly off um so i will also be highly likely uh, going to um speed up certain process because it's going to take otherwise it's going to take long i don't seem to manage less than an hour i mean it's just less than an hour but it's an hour so i did a row of bunting here because it's well this collection is uh, of the washi tape shop is called halloween party and this is very similar i also did my own washi but i'm not sure that i'm going to use it i will see i might actually do a combination of it um let's see that it does focus properly i cannot see so i will see that in the uh, edit and this is my scene. I have just put this scene together. 
Um, so I am very excited about using it. I think I'm going to use it on this side, even though I'm going to be slightly short. It's not very, um, it's not a straight angle here for some reason. Um, but that's okay. I think I'll probably um, wipe this line out uh, with one of my uh, pens. So I'm just going to grab my pages. And put things here. And that's my reminder for the key part week. I think I will start with my scene because I have already worked on it for so uh, many hours. I think I want to use the scene. I'm just going to white all of it. Um, I don't mind if some of it, uh, some of the white out is a bit more than necessary in terms of space. I don't know whether I, I'll, I'll see because I know that the scene doesn't reach the end. So I'm going to, let's do that. Um, I'm just going to play with this um, because I haven't been able to play really with it. So I might put it on this side. But I don't know. I might just... Uh, um, I will see because uh, the bow uh, in in this um, in this paper is going to um, be repeated here, or I might put the bow around. I don't know. I might do one section, one uh, sp side of the pr the spread more decorative, and then the other one more functional. I don't know. Uh, I'm still um, experimenting with it all. But I do love the combination of these two. This, even though I think I think it will be this and this one that will be more uh, in tune with the spread. Unfortunately, I don't have any purple. Um, it's always like that, isn't it? Uh, and the ones that I got from before, they have very little purple and it's not really, I'm not really going to use those. So let's see where this takes us. Uh, this is nearly dry, so I'm just going to take my um, tape runner uh, from Craftelier. And I'm going to start with this corner. Yeah, like that. This is here, which might be a cut here, I'm not sure. Just a synthetic fluff. So I just cut it. There's another one. Okay, it's all gone now. Um, okay, let's just do that because we might need it again. And okay. So that's my scene down. So uh, in case I was um, off the um, Focus, I mean, they, you know what I mean. I don't know where I am at the moment. Um, I should be here with my planner. Planning, okay. So, uh, functional boxes, um, I did print na none because within the design, this was bought from uh, a place called Creative Market. Uh, you can buy bundles, uh, you can buy uh, for licensing, well, not licensing, but commercial 
or just for personal use. Uh, so there are some free ones that are, some that are um, virtually at just a few dollars. And there are other ones that are just a little bit more, but it's not a problem. I mean, it's not going to break the bank, but um, you print it for your own use and you can mix and match, create your own um, and so on. So I quite like that one there. I think I might, I don't know, does it look too weird? It's because um, it's not going to really match, is it? I can try and put this one up here just to change a little bit the uh, the top there. Um, the uh, boxes I'm going to grab um, the Halloween book I think, which has the. Uh, the colorful boxes um i don't think i want to use gray but if i need to do gray i will take the same um boxes from before from last week and the previous week i think which is uh, functional pastels from fancy plants um which may sound boring for you but um i want to stick with um it has been a challenge uh for me so um if there are enough functional boxes here for me, yes, um, even though they are for, um, no, they are not that many, you see, yeah, um, for um, the monthly section. So let's do that. I can use just this one, this purple one. Why did I say I didn't have purple? I have purple. The only thing from from this is that um, it's one of those washi tapes that have a backing and you know how much I don't love these ones. I don't know why they do this to me but never mind we'll have to work with it. So I'm going to frame as per usual. I can't see that one. And I'm uh, planning on Thursday, which is very rare for me. Um, my husband's still working on his uh, atelier. The girls are, are doing very well, even though relationship-wise it's still a bit growly. Um, Misha has uh, made a friend with um, the neighbor's cat. So he comes, it's the second day he comes in and to hang out and play with her, uh, which is nice. So she's now sleeping a little bit more, which is great. Um, but we need to keep an eye until she is um, um, sterilized, which should be in a month or two. Um, it will depend because it's a uh, also dependent on the weight um, but if the Siamese side of her uh, kicks in it means that she's going to start the heat early um, I remember Mocha was just four and a half months when she started and I had to wait we lived in a flat at the time and we had to wait. I wanted to wait until she was six months because she was a rather small cat. Um, and she's still a small cat, even though she's 13 now. And it was very stressful for her and for us as well. 
and needed, needless to say that there were visitors, of course, that came in to meow at our door. And we want to avoid that with Misha. So, so far, I like it very much. I think I might be able to use this one in sections. Uh, because these guys are here, so it's it's not too bad. And I think I'm going to play the bull. Um, I don't know whether I want I want it separately or sort of um, overlaid. I like that. I'm going to continue on this page because all of a sudden it um, it made sense. Um, so I think I use this here because Sundays is not really something that. way okay I think I like this one here and this one slightly up was it finished it finished Okay. We have another one. I didn't think of ordering more. I do have another one apart from this one. So, um, but I ordered some paper from Craftily. I didn't think. I should have thought about it. Yeah, I like that. I can flatten this out by either doing this, which is not much. And then a box um, or something. So that's my bowl and my uh, my little scene over there. I could have made it a bit bigger, but I also want to use some uh, uh, functional boxes. And am I? Uh, there's no purple here, is there? Uh, let me see. This is not bad, but it's a bit on the light side. This is not good. This is too blue. This is not bad. Mm. Yeah, this is not bad. I could use these ones and then the gray ones. Okay, that's not bad. So let's just, um, I don't know where my, uh, Let's just get some boxes out. And if I don't use them, I'll put them back, but I'll, at least I have these ones. And let me see. I will need as well quotes and here there are mm, the orange ones. This cut is different, but I don't mind. This is a lighter orange. Um, 
and I think that gray, I might bring gray. I don't know, I'll just pick it up. There is not a lot of pink in this. Um, oh, here are the quotes. Mm, but um, in the uh, clay part, but I will, um, I'll make it work. I have this today, but it's a bit corally. Yeah. Okay, we have this one, it's a bit curly. This is more orangey. It's the same color. Why do I say differently? Okay, we have this color here, so I can take this one. I think that's it. Yeah. Okay. The other one is the cat one. Um, sorry, I just have a bunch of books in. Might bring this one out because he will definitely have some orange boxes. If yeah, things I am thankful for. That's an excellent idea. I'm just going to make some space here. Before I open the page. It's a good, very good. I only have one green left. Okay, I have used all my boxes. Well, we have double boxes. We can plan. Yeah, I think I will use this to decorate as well. Um, or not. We'll see. So, um, we do have some of these, which I want to scatter around some leaves and the pumpkins. We have big, big pumpkins and smaller. I'll speed this up, people. I'm just going to overlay this one and I'm going to put this on Sundays or on the Sunday. like that and I think I want to put this little cute um, bat I'm just going to trim a little bit more around its feet and use some glue
Oh, that's cute. I like it. I like it very much. Um, okay, I am going to... I don't know. I think this will be too busy. But I might do it on the other side. And I'm going to use the same uh, purple washi which has disappeared. It's not, it's here. Um, and then I'm going to put it. Yeah, I'm going to do the same. And I think I'm just going to overlay a few designs on the um, on the sidebar but unfortunately I had a, a, an excellent paper with the same color scheme um, as this uh, clip art and unfortunately I don't have enough and I wonder whether I should bring it I'll show you because it's a beautiful box I just cut it and I think it will look cool because it has almost um, similar colors so I think I want up to here so I'm just going to put the glue directly on the paper I don't mind if the glue goes a bit beyond because I can wrap that off. And I just need to cut. I'm going to turn this upside down because I'm a right handed. I need to cut a little bit beyond the black line. there I like that and we do that with this that's it so we have that there and I think I just want to I'm going to speed this up but I'm going to start um, laying some leaves and some of these elements around here. And I can continue on to some boxes i think i will include this one because um it's just not bad i can um because it's, it has the same colors as in here that makes me think that i could actually put some black boxes and for that for boxes and I just got up to get it um, so you you have to see my shadow because my lighting is so professional um, so here are the black boxes so I don't know how that's going to pan out with it we have we do have a black one so uh, I think I want to use this here. Yeah, on this side. I 
I don't um I don't want to cut it because um the words are needed so well I'm not very good at putting this glue in. This way, so goals, monsters, goblins, skeletons. Uh, you can read the rest. You can really. Yeah, I like that. So, for example, here we can put a little black box. For Wednesday morning, and I kind of like this cut here, so like so. We keep the oranges together. And then we can use this one here and it'll be too much to put it there but um, if I can find I'll see I'll see um, what happens um that's a mix of colors so we need this box in here White squint. So it's not going to really bother the bee there. I wanted it more on Thursday than anything else. I don't know whether I'll be able to lift it. I need to lift it. And for that, I'm going to use um, my bone folder, if I find it. Um, I just want to get rid of some um, glue that was there. So I like that the mix of um, color boxes is, is not going to, I might have to put that one back because it's um, uh, and I have grid and dot grid. Okay, I have dot grid here. So we shall do dark.
dot grid here. And this one, and I think I want to put this little guy here, but I need a small web, which I found immediately. And then the little spider right underneath. I'm just going to put glue to the back of it out of camera. I can do that with a little bit of a brown pencil later or color pen. Okay, I have one of these here. Just layering, layering a bit. I'll see what I can do with washing. It's not really that color. I think I should bring this this color here, but I don't know whether I have a, another one. I could do to do that would bring that color in here. I'm going to put it here and then I'm going to use some um, bullet points somewhere. I have stars and I have checklists. I don't think I have bullet points here. And I need this color here. So I can put these flags mm. I'm looking for that color. This one. There is already a spider there, that's the thing. No, I'll put it back later. magical which is this color okay I can put that box right underneath and then I'm going to use some uh, of this um, Check um, <laughs> quotes. Sorry, my brain is doing it all for me. So, this 
it's not really that color I think I put this one there and this is my Halloween is magical or Halloween is magic Boo. Halloween is magic so that's balanced a little bit now quotes yeah these are quotes for um, what have I marked? Yeah, I need to use these at some point. I normally do it. Um, I'll show you uh, um, a little when I'm about to finish. Um, I do use them. Ooh, hello, pumpkin. No. Unbelievable. And that will nicely match on the other side because we're using bow here. Okay, I need to shift things. Okay, it's slightly squinted there, but that's how it's going to stay. And I think I like it. I like it very much. There are some spaces, but that's okay. Because we're going to use, um, we don't have bullet points here, but we do have some stars, I think. Uh, let me see. It might be towards the end. Yeah. 
here. So we're going to start with it. Okay, they have a, a white background. I'm going to get this. What's this color again? This one. There's no purple. But there is a slightly orangey one. I'm not going to use the gold, even though there is a tiny gold here. And a tiny gold there that balances okay. So I will put... Shame there is no this color. I'm going to put the black ones here. I'm just going to put two. And I'm going to put these two here. I have these colors. It's not necessary there. No. And I think that will be my only... I'll put this one back later. Um, my stencil, which is, has gone again. Um, but I don't know, because this page is not going to have any... Um, you know... Um, lines because there is no space for lines so I think I'm going to use the black box like so yeah I like it I can write there and I think that is it for me I couldn't use that one there well I wanted to use it here I could have used it there but I have enough orange there so that's okay that is my beautiful scene I love it I'm very happy with it um, I'm going to show you um, how it looks on my planner because I tend to forget to put it back so this is what I meant with the um, with the days because sometimes I put it on uh, um, in here so some dates are here and then I, I come and put it over here so it will not necessarily match the pink but they will definitely go there um, because then um, next week is my is my last um, Halloween spread in this planner I have taken some time to uh, reflect on my spread and I'm coming back because I want to I want to add a few things I have already put them in place um, it's, it's just a few little things that I want to add, as well as um, some washi from the washi tape shop that I showed you earlier. Um, I just tore um, these two uh, pieces, which is um, this one 
um, had some uh, ghosts with eyes and some candy. I've also um, torn this one, which is the uh, ghosts and skulls um, there. I'll show you this one. Um, so I also have taken a piece of this, uh, which is very fainted hats. And it's very difficult to see. And um, cauldrons. Um, I'm not sure whether you can actually see anything in there, but it's uh, it's a witch's hat and cauldrons. Um, so I am going to. I've already um, tried to put one piece here, and it's hence why it has the backing. It has a very strong blue, and it lifted up a little bit. But what I'm going to start is by, um, I'm going to do it on this paper, on this side. I'm going to start with this uh, row of bunting. I'm going to put some glue, if I can find the other glue thing here. I have a massive mess out of sight. Um, And I'm going to place this one with my tweezers from Craftelier. Um, I think I want to do it here. So I have a little bit of play with, because it's so continuous here from this um, um, piece of uh, cardstock that um, I might want to put one of these, which is going to be um, 11 days till Halloween. I can put it up here and I'm going to do that now. I know it doesn't really match um, because, um, well, there's some subtle pinks. Um, in the spreads but it's very very little for example the ears of the bats and i have one bat on each side but it's going to allow me to have a um a continuum uh, throughout the month so i'm going to do that here like so this one i want to put is this corner and I'm going to do it now um, I'll show you I'm going to use the this the existing line within there I know I, I put a bit more glue but like that And the spider is going to be stuck at the bottom, one bit on each side, and then here. So she's going to be difficult with this side. That way I don't have to draw a line. I'm just getting my card and I hope I will not make a mess because I need to really cut here. So That's perfect. That's very good. Because I often cut a, a bit too much and then there is a, a little bit of white that appears behind, um, in between the, the sticker I'm cutting and the one that's already there. So that is on that side. I think this is enough here for the extra um, 
bits. Now on this side, I'm going to put this um, face balloon here. So that way, and then that way. And I think I'll put it at an angle. And then these two here, which is for the weekend, um, they were connected, but I think I, I don't want to lose too much hair. So I'm going to do it this way and the other one the opposite way. I think sort of from Friday because I don't want to really lose a lot of the um, the purple behind which that one has um, pumpkins and this would be my last one uh, yeah so on Sunday Sunday is the seven days uh, until Halloween so I could do it here but I'm not sure so I'm just going to place it oh I don't know let me see because there is this awkward space here but it's going to no I will do it above so I need to have some space I'm just going to come out a little bit of the uh, there that's a minute doesn't matter if it's a bit squinted okay I still have a space to write whatever it is and now we are going to um, this I will leave with me for when I need to fill in the gaps uh, we're going to use the or place down the washing so I think I'll use this side I kind of liked it here so I'm just going to tear with my card which is a random card. It's nothing special. Oh, there's a bit of white there. Picked up some backing from some uh, sticker. Um, and funnily enough, no, it um, it ties in with that. So that's a little bit in there. Not sure I like it. I think I'm going to do it this way. That's better. The uh, um, torn edge towards the bottom. So we have the middle section and the middle section it's rugged both ways we're going to end it here just a little bit past that frame there A 
and this is going to be at an angle like so it's a little bit of a hat and let's see where else we can put a little bit I don't know let's see um i was thinking not this one because this one is a bit thick this one this end can go here because it's sort of a similar color but i'm uh, i'm a bit concerned that it sort of disappears so i'm just going to bring it out a bit and then tear on the edge there we can maybe place this bit here right in the corner as an accent um, and I think Just a little bit down. Yeah, there. Let's see if it works. Yeah. This one folded at the end. But I will have to go silent for a moment because my husband is coming back with his tractor and it's going to make a lot of noise.
So I'm just putting this little piece. It really sticks this uh, this washing. I will have to play with these two because they are the um, the ones that are thin enough for me to play around. And fill that gap there I'm going to take it all the way to the end or maybe not um, I'm just going to cut it just past the line like a hairline past the line hopefully I have cut both of them And I think I'm left, it ties, it ties in a little bit and I like it. Um, I think that one needs a little bit of an accent, so let's see. not much my card is here could be a lot worse um, I am much happier with that I still need to let me see whether I can cut it here it's just a little cut to bring that um, there so I don't have to draw because I, I'm, I'm afraid that I do not have a color for it although I have to I have to draw this one so let's do that in camera and it's going to be difficult because these are so oops um, it's brown but it's not that specific brown. Let's see whether this. No, that's not brown at all. I have this brown, but this is pencil. I mean crayon. And this is going to be too dark. I don't really have a brown one. That's not brown, so I'm going to take it out of the picture. That's too thick. And this is just too light, it's not the right color. So that goes here and that goes there. So I have to use this one. Let's see whether I don't mess it up. If I mess it, I'm going to be very upset. Not really, but I will have to increase the um the thickness of that line. Yeah, it's not bad. It could be a lot worse. So, um, I'm happy. I'm happy with the pink accent that tie in with this one. Maybe we should put three uh, for the time being, just for the photo of this uh, spread that is finished. So we have uh, 13 days we should put 13 of course because it's a funny number it's 
doesn't fit anywhere. Okay, so we have 13, 12, 11, um, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, and 7. So the other ones I can uh, just come back later when I have um, filled in my planner. I uh, come every day to do and so. This is it for my, um, my spread for the 18th to the 24th of October. I thank you very much for watching my video. Please uh, like, subscribe and comment um, below what you think of this spread. Hit the notification bell if you want to be notified for my next video, which should come relatively soon. And I wish you a beautiful um, end of the week. Whatever you're doing, do it with love. Happy planning and take very good care of yourselves. Bye.